Uh, hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your co-pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue on this journey back to our one expression a day and leaping from one to another. Um, yesterday, we talked about um, 以卵击石. Sorry, it's not displaying correct. Okay, 以卵击石 means use an egg to attack a stone. So this is kind of suicidal, not a smart move, but sometimes people do that. And today we're going to continue with another way of attacking, which is a lot smarter. And 声东击西, we have this opposite meaning, east and west. And what does it mean, 声东击西? 声 means a sound, and this is the 声 original word. It has this ear symbol. This is how the ear was depicted back in Chinese character. And in this simplified Chinese version, the ear was taken out. It's like the main meaning maker was taken out and only kept this top portion of it. And the top portion with this left and right structure and having this vertical lines like elongated and wrapping down this ear in the middle, like the top portion together, it pronounced as qing. Um, it's a type of ancient um, drumming set uh, or um, music instrument that used to be, you know, get a rhythm. So you have your ear applied to this drumming side, uh, drumming set, which is pretty loud, I guess. Um, so simply that implies hearing the function, no, the, the physical phenomenon of sound, like your, your ear is going to receive the sound made from this, uh, this instrument, okay? And we talked about yesterday, it, you have this hand gesture at the bottom, like five finger looking hand looking like this, right? And you're going to hit on something. And this something on the top, it miraculously shared the same structure over here, um, but it actually is a sound maker here. Um, so this sound, ji, ji, with a hand, with the sound, with a hand, just means attack with your full palm, you know, finger spread out kind of attack, yes. And 声东击西, we have 东安西, 东, we talked about before, a, it came from an image of a tree. And then, you know, Chinese tree have this horizontal line and then this arch hanging there to mean a tree. And then there's a sun symbol in the middle of the tree. That means a sun rising from the tree, behind the tree, like that's a visual picture. So we use sunrise to, to mean that's the east direction. And the west, came from this bird nest hunting on a tree. So because at the end of the day, birds are going back to their nest, making loud noises, right? So that's the sense of when the sun is setting, that's the phenomenon people see. And people use that as a symbol to mean that's the west direction. So what does it mean? You make a sound on the east, but you're attacking the west. Exactly that meaning. That uh, means you're going to <laughs> conduct a pretty smart kind of attack by faking attack on one direction, but actually put your main forces attack on another direction. I don't know the military term, there must be a maneuver of this uh, kind of attack. So the best I can come out with is surprise attack. It doesn't mean ambush. It means strategically make a loud noise as if you're going to attack some location, but instead your main force is directed to attack another direction. Um, because I mean, warfares are common in ancient histories in the East as well as West, right? So people came up with all kinds of strategies. So I guess some of you may have read The Art of War, which is talking about all kinds of strategies people can use to, um, to win, basically. So on the right here, it's the ancient musical instrument, I guess it's a kind of art, artistically stylized 
um, probably is not used actually as an instrument because it's so it looks so exquisite, it's so delicate. You're not going to hit this thing to make music in case it's broken. Probably it's too costly, right? But um, this uh, qing used as a kind of a drumming. It could be string up together in different pitches, different sizes, different pitches, right? So it's the whole you know it's kind of ancient piano <laughs> but it's like a different pitch and you you, you have to hit with a drum um, or stick right to to make a sound and it can be made from i guess metal or stone and in this case it's a luxurious jade expensive material so definitely it's a decorative purpose it's not a real instrument <laughs> nobody's going to hit this piece um, but here it's just to give you a concept of that's the ancient type of mu musical instrument and that's the origin of um, the character sound because you have this ear hearing that that's the sound making process all right cash in to the currency of thinking just by one word a day see you another day